Hey guys, it's our potato, and today we're doing something different. I wanted to talk about the origin of most of Dota 2's items and abilities. A lot of Warcraft 3's stuff actually got carried over. I've made a map here that uh, goes through all of the different races, as well as items and neutrals. And in part one, we're going to do the humans. Now, full disclaimer. Dota has made a lot of changes since the Warcraft 3 days and I won't be going over many of the old spells that are now gone, some I'll mention. And I kind of use the words basis or inspiration interchangeably. Just take it that if I say basis but it doesn't look like a spell, it's probably that it's an inspiration for that spell. And yeah, let's move on. Oh, and if I miss something major, just put it down in the comments and I'll take a look. The Mortar Team's Flare ability is the basis of Clockwork Goblin's Rocket Flare. When cast at range, it reveals an area and even Gothical. reveals invisible Me units too. for 15 seconds. Multiple spells in uh, Warcraft 3 give True Sight, but the True Sight you see on buildings in Dota is Magic Sentry that can be learned by the human tower. The human priest's heal ability can be autocast, and when used on an ally, it heals them for 5 mana. This is given in Dota 2 to the neutral troll priest. I am your servant. Inner fire can increase an ally's armor and damage by a percentage. The bonus damage is used as a component of Magnus's empower, while the bonus armor has been given to Medallion of Courage. Of course, as you wish. The priest and the storm elemental from Brewmaster's ultimate both share the spell this spell which is given to the Storm Elemental in Brewmaster's Ultimate in Dota. This removes buffs in an area of effect. I am your servant. Right away. The old Tree and Protector's Nature's Guise borrowed from Invisibility, which can turn an ally invisible. Now this is just as used as a component in Glimmer King. What a good idea. It's about time. Polymorph can turn an enemy into a sheep for a long duration and is the basis of Scythe of Vice. If you insist. The Syringe Engine's Barrage ability can allow it to attack multiple targets at once. This is the basis of both Medusa's Split Shot and Gyrocopter's Flak Cannon. The Spellbreaker's Spell Immunity, which renders it immune to all spells, used to be a component for the ancient creeps in Dota 2, but it was recently changed to just being damage resistance. So in Dota, it no longer exists. Feedback allows the Spellbreaker to deal damage directly to the enemy's mana pool, as well as bonus damage to their health pool. This is used as mana break in Anti-Mage and in the Diffusal Blade. Your magic is mine! Spell steals hard to display here, but it removes buffs from enemies and puts them on allies, or it can remove debuffs from allies and puts them on enemies. This spell is not copied over in Dota 2, but is the base uh, inspiration for Spell Steal by Rubik. Control magic can take control of an enemy unit for a duration and is the basis of Enchantress's enchant ability. Very clever. Easily done. The Dragonhawk Rider's cloud ability is not used in Dota, but because it's an AOV channeled spell, it's used to perform triggers such as ones used in Black Hole. Winds guide you. Aerial Shackles is a channeled stun that deals damage over time. In Dota, all channeled stuns that deal damage over time are based off of this spell, including Shadow Shaman's Shackles, Bane's Fiend's Grip, and Pudge's Dismember. 
The sky is mine. The Paladin's Devotion Aura grants armor to nearby allied units and is the basis of Ring Bacillus as well as its upgrades. The way the Holy Light works in healing an allied unit is the inspiration for purification given to Omni Knight. As you wish. Jaina shares both appearance and brilliance aura with Crystal Maiden. Brilliance aura granting allies of an increase to mana regeneration. Blizzard the spell is not used in Dota 2, but its visuals were the inspiration of Crystal Maiden's ultimate. Note the explosions at the bottom of the spell. Sounds interesting. The Mountain King's Stormbolt deals damage to a single target and stuns them for a duration. This is the basis of many target stun abilities in Dota 2, including Stormbolt from Sven, Chaos Bolt from Chaos Knight, Wraithfire Blast from Wraith King. I'm coming through! Burn him away! Thunderclap deals damage on AoE and slows enemy movement speed and attack speed. This is the basis of both Thunderclap from Brewmaster and Earthshock from Ursa Warrior. All Bash passives in Dota 2 are based off of the Bash ability that Mountain King holds. This ability gives a chance to Bash on attacks. Chaos! I'm coming through! This is the basis of Skull Basher, Greater Bash, Bash of the Deep, and Time Lock. The Mountain King's Avatar ability makes him immune to magic damage and makes his model grow slightly and change color. This is the basis of Black King Bar and is also why Black King Bar still makes you glow and change in size. I'll run him through! Flame Strike will, after a short delay, deal damage in an area of effect. That short delay and the visuals were the inspiration of Sunstrike given to Invoker, while the spell itself made its use in uh, Shakira's Macropire. For now. Banish turns an enemy unit or an allied unit ethereal and is the basis of Decrepify from Pugda. Andufala. Siphon mana can drain an enemy of its mana and is the basis of mana drain from Lion. For now. Although Summon Phoenix is not in Dota 2, the unit that it creates is the model unit for Phoenix. When this Phoenix dies, it drops an egg, and if the egg survives a short duration, the Phoenix is reborn. This is the basis of the hero Phoenix Ultimate. Because of Dota 1 and Warcraft 3, this is why some Dota veterans will still call it the egg when screaming, KILL THE EGG! ATTACK THE EGG! instead of saying attack the sun. And that's it for Hero Unit's abilities. Uh, stay tuned for part two where we're going to explore the orcs.